and you can just pray for our worship service this morning. God bless you. Then Jesus is actually a familiar verse. Then Jesus got into the boat and started across the lake with his disciples. Do you remember the boogeyman? The monster inside your closet? Do you remember how your bedroom looked in the dark? The sounds that the nighttime made? The icy chill that would run up and down your back? Do you remember whatever happened to all those haunted childhood dreams? They're still around, except now they're all grown up. Are you afraid to die? Thanatophobia, fear of death. Or maybe you're afraid of the dark. Scotophobia, fear of darkness. Are you afraid of being alone? Isolophobia. Fear of loneliness. Or maybe you're afraid of commitment. Philophobia. Fear of falling in love. They have grown up names, but they're essentially still monsters underneath our bed. Are you afraid of heights? Acrophobia. Or maybe you're afraid of growing old. Thoracophobia. Everyone has a monster hiding in a closet somewhere. Are you afraid of failure? Articophobia. Or are you just afraid? Panophobia. Fear of everything. But is that monster real? Or is it just a mind game? Fear not. 144 times. The Bible says fear not. Darkness, loneliness, death. Whatever you call your monster, there's no distinction. It's a mirage. And fear not sounds so easy. Just saying it should make the monsters go away. But does it? Are you still scared? Fear not. It should be so easy. So, what are you afraid of? That is what you are. That is who I am. 
That is who we are, children. Hari mo bang tasyo kamay mo? Let's let's make some prayer declaration. Oh God, oh God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because my faith in you. Because my faith in you. Have taken away. Have taken away. My fear of death. My fear of death. And con- Please be seated. You will exit one room at a time. The ushers will guide you according to the designated exit doors. Lights boxes are located near the exit. If you wish to stay in the church for a while, you may stay in your seat and wait for the ushers to guide you.